All right, for the last couple videos, I've gotten this question a lot. Where to buy flared denim? And if, for those who don't know, right now, it's a pretty trending thing where a lot of people are reworking and or making denim that have a little bit of a flare on the bottom. And we're gonna talk a little bit about kind of where the origins of this really came from towards the end. But in this video, we're gonna go through at least six to eight options that you can go through websites, uh, sellers, um, or brands that might be a good option for you to buy into flared pants, flared denim. It's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. Let's get it. So when we talk about flared pants or flared denim, whatever you want to call it, I think this trend right now is coming full circle again because of gallery department or gallery depth. I don't even know if it's really called gallery department or not. But if you've clicked on this video, it's like an 80% chance you've heard of this brand before. You've seen it on YouTube. Tons of people are reviewing it at this point. And you're also seeing more influencers put these on. And I think where they kind of gain their popularity as well is that, uh, you know, the people that make this stuff, it's reworked either workwear or reworked vintage Levi's where they, they're they like master tailors and they cut it from like the crotch area all the way to the bottom creating that really nice flare at the bottom and i've heard i don't know much about it but i've heard that you can actually go to the store either in la i believe they have one in tokyo maybe new york i, I don't know correct me in the comments on that one um, but you can go to the store bring your pants there and or buy a pants there i guess and then they can tailor them on the spot and then you could do it that way which is probably the best way especially if you're dealing with someone uh, that is really good at tailoring like one of the biggest issues with tailoring or retailoring a pair of pants is it comes out incorrectly and then you know r.i.p your pants done that many times i brought it to a tailor before it was like the first time i'm like hey cut it up you feel me and then i got it back i'm like man i can't <laughs> these are terrible <laughs> so the the reassurance is that if you go through gallery department or whatever it's called is that you're dealing with people that are very good at tailoring the only downside to this, in my humble opinion, is that it's expensive, man. What? These things retail at like $8.50, $9.50, maybe even higher than that. <sighs> okay, I understand the tailoring. You can, you know what I'm saying, get it all perfect. You don't have to keep going through other people, whatever. But shit, $8.50? Boy, I'll go for an alternative, which we are going to talk about on this channel. But I couldn't bring up uh, this list without bringing up gallery department first. Let's move on to the second one. All right, the second brand is a brand I am not familiar with. I literally found this through Instagram search feed, or maybe it was even an uh, Instagram ad too. Um, so they did the marketing correctly for me. Uh, but it landed on my feed, I found it. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I will put it here or here for you. Uh, for you to go ahead and look up that information, go ahead and check out their Instagram, go ahead and check out their website. But they do happen to make some flared pants, which I'm showing you right here. They also happen to make some other denim as well. Some of them kind of, not even kind of, they look exactly like a pair of Amiri's or some Saint Laurent's or something like that. But if you don't happen to look at those and you're looking for the flares, I think they have like two or three options of some flared pants. I would say the only downside for this recommendation was that I haven't tried it. That's one, which I probably haven't tried any of these options that I'm talking about here today. Uh, and then the second thing is um, the look of this flared, although yes, it is flared, the bottom seems a little exaggerated. You know what I'm saying? It, does, it looks a little too like triangular towards the bottom, but I will say this, since I haven't seen anybody put it on, my guess is that it can actually still work or definitely can work. It just depends on how the pants kind of stack towards the bottom and the top to kind of get rid of the look of such a, a drastic flare at the bottom, right? So again, I would need to see, or maybe I'm showing you some B-roll here uh, of some people wearing it, but again, I would need to see uh, with someone with it on to see whether or not this is a good option. Price point is not at 850. I think these hover around 250, maybe three, a little bit lower than that. Still kind of high, still kind of on the higher side, but if it works, it works. Let's move on. All right, this next one is an obvious. I'm gonna bring up Ken from Vuja Day. I'm not gonna cover this too much, but I just wanna put that option out there for those who don't know, but I'm pretty sure a majority of people know by now that they have made flared pants. Uh, he's made some double front uh, flared pants as well, double front or double knee, whichever one you wanna call it. And also the bondage cargoes from what I remember, and also my pair, it kinda has a little bit of flare to it. It's hard to consider whether or not it's flare or not. It's just baggy enough where it covers your shoe 
almost just like a flare right or just like that wideness towards the bottom area so so again not going to elaborate too much because i'm sure you guys already know check it out price wise it's going to be steep all right that's all i haven't i haven't looked at the prices in weeks now okay but if you go on the grail and see a lot of people reselling this stuff it's going to be expensive i haven't even checked what the double fronts are if someone would like to fill us in in the comments uh, last time I checked on the bondage cargoes before all this stuff was going on, I think it was at $1,000 or something like that. So if you're not in the market for that, you're not in the market for that. But if it's something that you want to emulate and look at to get, go get something else, <laughs> I totally understand. That's why it's on the list. Let's keep going. So let's talk about some more affordable options or kind of bring it back down to that $300, $250 range. Um, and it's going to be uh, this brand right here. This is called Genius Bar, I believe. They actually happen to watch one of my videos and also hit me up on Instagram. Uh, hopefully I can get a pair of these. Uh, a lot of their work seems really nice. To my understanding, they do pretty much exactly what gallery department does. It's just the price is not going to be $800. Uh, the tailoring actually seems really nice as well. You can go ahead and check out the website. Now, what I don't know though, which I probably should ask them again, um, but what I don't know is uh, if what they do are one of one pieces or if this is something that is completely on the website all the time, they just have a stock of them pre-made, so to speak, or do they take in people's orders and then tailor them up? I'm not 100% sure how they do it, but I have checked out a little bit on their website. They do have uh, pants that they post up there from time to time that look like they're tailored pretty well. And again, it looks identical to what you're gonna get from gallery department, except you're not gonna pay $850. Another plus to this is that if you go on their Instagram, they've had uh, quite a few people with it on. So you, it's not something that's just like a photo of the pants on the ground. And it's actually someone with the pants on to gonna give you that example of it. And the price seems fair for what you kind of see here. I thought it was a good option with that said, let's keep it moving. So big shout out to Kyron. If anyone has watched his uh, flared video, I was kind of uh, skimming through it and he mentioned this uh, brand called Broken Garment. And when we talk about affordability, these are pretty much half the price of the ones that I just mentioned. I think some of them run around 140, 150. Now, again, I don't know the specifics on whether or not they have this stuff in stock all the time. I've just seen it on their Instagram and of course heard it from Kyron's channel. But what is noteworthy about these is that the way they flare uh, the bottom, it does seem a little bit different compared to what I just showed you in the previous option and also with the gallery departments. I think the gallery department ones, they're gonna kind of tailor it from the top to the bottom. Uh, and some of these are kind of only from the shin area down to the ankle is kind of where they start their flare. Now, of course, that depends on your preference, but initially seeing some of these, like this one right here, the bottom kind of feels a little too flare, like bell bottom-ish, but again i keep backtracking like you it, it's just something you got to try on it sometimes just because it, it looks crazy when you lay it on the ground take a photo of it it can look completely different when you put it on you feel me so not sure but again good option 140 150 and or somewhere around under 200 dollars. pretty good let's keep it pushing you know this next one i don't even know how i found this one i guess once you start searching some you know the algorithm works in your favor you start finding a whole bunch of them but this one is called craft work i also found this one pretty interesting because their website is called ain't easy and you already know it ain't easy being keezy so i was like okay i see you i see you right uh but also they make tons of flared pants this is reworked vintage so maybe you message them and you get a pair or you send them a pair or something like that and or they make them themselves they're one of ones then they post it on the instagram and then you have a chance to buy it there, right? It does look a little bit uh, Japanese Americana-ish, but of course a lot of that has to deal with vintage or reworked vintage as well. Uh, but it, they have like some bondage cargo stuff in there. Uh, but again, a lot of flare denim that's going on and it's a good option. Price-wise, I think these are sitting at like 160 something, 170 or so uh, US. That's not bad, not bad. And also it's definitely a lot more affordable actually anything is more affordable than gallery department <laughs> 950 y'all want nine oh man no uh, y'all could keep it all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go mess with brands like these i'm gonna try this out because what if i don't like it right what if you spend that 950 with gallery department and you're like this is ass like this just don't even work for me <laughs> 
I might as well have spent the 165 with these guys over here. Ain't easy.com, you know what I'm saying? And and get you right, right? Anyways, y'all get it. We got two more. Let's keep it going. This next one is not a particular brand, but the next one is going to be grailed. Yes, just go on a grailed and type in flared denim or just like flared or you could type in custom flare not even flare duh flare just custom flare and you'll get quite a few options i think now since this trend is kicking in you get you get a you get a good amount of options there okay uh and a lot of it could actually be just from instagrams people that have like a 3,000 follower instagram 1,000 follower instagram they're trying to get their garments out there they might also just sell it straight onto grailed uh, so you're going to probably find some other sellers on there as well, but also some more affordable options. I think last time I checked, some hit the $300 mark and then some go as low as maybe like $200, $150, maybe even $100 if it's used. I did see some better paint splatter options on there as well. Some of these other ones that I mentioned here today are just either reworked vintage Levi's that don't have any paint splatter to them. And if that's your thing, Grailed has some pretty good options for you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing what you can find on Grail these days, right? Some of the stuff you type in, you're like, man, I didn't think someone's selling it, but someone's selling it, and there's a good amount of options out there. So go ahead and check out Grailed. I wish they can sponsor this video. We're not a big enough channel yet. I'm excited to talk about this last one because I'm gonna I'm gonna loop this whole topic right back. The last option that I'm gonna give to y'all, that also could be quite affordable, all right, is gonna be true religion. Yep, and you're probably like, man, did he, did Kizzy really just recommend trues on the channel? I never would have thought in a million years that I would bring up true religion. But hold on, just wait a second, okay? The trues that I'm recommending to you is not necessarily the flat pocket uh, horseshoe pants with the crazy thick stitching. No, 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 I'm not recommending you those because True actually makes a lot more denim than people think because people automatically think of what I just mentioned, the thick stitching, flat pocket, horseshoe, crazy flare, boot cut, whatever you want to call it, right? High rise. But they actually make a lot of other different styles and I think there was, uh, there was quite a few years and maybe even now that they still make pants even without the horseshoe logo on the back. Or maybe they might make an all black pair, it's flared on the bottom, there's no flap, has the black logo so even if you looked at the pants you can't tell if they're true religion anyway. So it works out that way, right? So I would say go after those pairs. Price wise, I mean, just just do this, okay? Go to offsaxfifth.com, go to grailed, go to eBay. There's true religion sitting everywhere right now. People are just trying to get rid of this shit because it's just taking up space in their closet. They don't even wear it anymore, right? And why I say it's, I would have never thought in a million years that I would come full circle to recommend you true religions. If you think about it, if you think about it, this whole not the reworks part okay the rework vintage part that's a different story all right but the silhouette of what people are buying now it's like an onion up top and then it flares at the bottom right because people are cutting in and they're tailoring in the knee area to make the bottom flare out which kind of gives it a slim straight with the flare at the bottom look if you think about it that's true religion bruh <laughs> You feel me? That's true religion. <laughs> true religion been out here making those cuts for a long time, but we all neglected it because I don't know. True religion's not cool anymore and this and that. And I, I, I can't lie. I'd be lying to you if I, you know, how do I say this? I wasn't rocking with trues. And am I going to buy into trues now? If it's a pair, that you can't tell if it's a true religion and it got that flair to it and I don't need to spend $300. I don't need to spend $850 on a pair of reworked vintage pants which are old anyway and I can just buy it new and it, ha it has what I'm looking for, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Look, in the Bay right now, some of the malls are opening back up. I just hit Great Mall today. Uh, they, they open it back up. Off Saks Fifth opening back up probably very soon. You walk into an Off Saks Fifth, do you know how many discounted True Religions are in there? Some of them retail at like $350, $375, right? For $420 at the most. That's very expensive for some Trues. 
but they're like 75% off or like they're like 60% off right you can walk in there 120 flat you'd be out the door with a pair of trues in your hand same cut same thing man you're just trying to get that look down i'm telling you bro true religion baby true religion I made this video purely, purely to give some kind of recommendation to the viewers because I know a lot of people are kind of wondering where people are buying this stuff right now. It is surfacing on a lot more people's uh, Instagram, you know, feeds and things like that. Um, even on archive pages, people are just posting a lot of photos with their shoe covered up by some kind of flared pants that we don't know about, right? So maybe these can be some good options for you. And if these aren't good options, Maybe by the time you search all this stuff, you might even find better options out there. So if you can, leave in the comments, um, you know, some brands that uh, I didn't mention here today that are a really good recommendation, something, you know, something affordable for us, right? And also before we end this is, I guess the bigger question for myself is, am I going to buy into this? My only feeling behind not wanting to buy into flare denim right now is because I feel as if personally, because this is what I always do, just me personally, not y'all, but this is what I do. I end up seeing a trend or whatever's, I guess, hot at the moment, and I actually genuinely like this. Like, I genuinely like the flared look. I really do like it, okay? But what happens is that I end up liking it and I buy it and I wear it like once and then I never wear it again. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what it is about it. I just end up reverting back and I just start wearing the shit that I've always been wearing. <laughs> that's just me that's just it's it just keezy that's just what i do okay i buy some i'm like oh snap cargoes that's actually tight i like it put it on cool wore for one day i'm done with this i'm back to my japanese raw denim i'm back to my air force ones my bigs a boxy t-shirt and a hat and i'm like you know what i mean i don't i don't really feel like venturing off into other shit so i think to save myself maybe i might save my money and kind of see where this goes as far as like my mood in buying into this, especially if it's something slightly affordable, right? If it's something too expensive, you're, you know, I'm priced out the market. I don't want it. You can keep the flares, okay? I don't, I really don't want it. But if it's something affordable and it's nice, black hair, maybe has some paint splatter on it, looks really nice, the fade's going kind of crazy, I might fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of where I stand with the flare denim. But that's not to, you know, deter anybody else away. I think it looks great. I think it's a really dope look and it's just crazy to think that this this flared look which is the same thing we were wearing in 2012 straight up 2012 13 14 we people were rocking with the trues heavy the boot cuts and the flares heavy right it's crazy how that is just coming full circle again and i'm seeing it right in front of me it's nuts it's nuts anyways i hope this was enjoyable i appreciate everyone for watching it's your boy keezy it ain't easy being keezy and I'll see you next time. Peace.